One of Philadelphia's best-selling novels ever, Black Scarface. And here's the man who wrote it, Jimmy the Saint. Let's hear his story. Jimmy the Saint from West Philly, but I rep all Philadelphia, I love Philadelphia. I'm live in Black and Nobel. Um, I'm the author of Black Scarface, and I'm one selling book in Philadelphia. How many copies of that have you sold? Maybe 25,000 copies. 25,000 copies. So Black Books is real. For me, <laughs> for me, I can't say that for anybody else, but it's for me. It, it pays my bills and do everything for me. That's beautiful. I mean, yeah. How many books have you written? 30. 30 books are published? 30 books. Wow. I didn't put the rest of them out. I got nine I published. Okay. Nine is out in the stores. They're available. You can check me out on Amazon. Jimmy Dessaint, that's D-A-S-A-I-N-T, Twitter. I mean, I do. So why do you think people like your stuff? What, what makes it's real? It's real. You get no realer than this. Okay. It's no realer than this. Unless you've been shot ten times, unless you've been incarcerated for ten years, unless you witnessed murders and you was a real drug dealer, and you've been through the dramas and the realities of life, unless you've been through it, you can't write no. You can't write like this. Not like this. I wrote it with my friend Rick Ross. The real Rick Ross. This was my celly in federal prison. You know what I'm saying. He was featured on BET American Gangster. He wasn't kidding when he said he has more than one book. Check him out. The Rose Among Thorns. Oh, they'll be in on Friday. The Apocrypha will be here Friday. The Torah. I have the special one. The Torah. Everything I love. That's what I mean. That's like 15. Okay. It'll be here Friday. Friday? Okay. Definitely. Contract killer. Right, cool. Underworld. We're going to consider you one of those prolific writers then, huh? Yeah. You enjoy it? Yeah, it's all good. It's doing good for you? Yeah, it's doing great for me. Oh. Being a best-selling author isn't enough for Jimmy the Saint. He even has a magazine that I couldn't pick up because it was what? Sold out! Okay, there we go. Urban Celebrity Magazine. Let's make sure I get the right one here. The one with the baller, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's actually DJ Damage from Hot 107.9. He's a good okay. friend of mine. He's on the cover. Yeah, Talk to me about the ideas. Is it You ever get writer's block? That's never got writer's Never block. got writer's block. It just, it just come. Okay. It just come. The stories is there. Watch this, Phil. What book you waiting for? Um, Scarface uh, three. Scarface. And that's live. <laughs> Scarface three. You see, because he read part one and part two. Okay. Well, the whole city waiting for it. The whole city's waiting for it. The whole city waiting for it. Yeah. Scarface three. So well, what's he waiting for? Just from this store, probably. So how many you think I sold just from this store? Long from this store? Just this door. Probably about 5,000 more. Great. Just this door. Okay. No other store, nowhere else. Just can't stand this the store, store at all. <laughs> Give me the same. Right. Give me the same. So, you know, that's what I'm doing, but I love my city for life. Like I said, this is this is the mecca of urban books in Philadelphia and this whole tri state. Matter of fact, might be across America because they got other bookstores trying to mimic what they doing here. Mm hmm. But we love it. But it'll never be the same. There's only could be one black and no better. Thank you. <laughs>